Around 3500 BC, a new material revolutionised the world, bronze, an alloy of copper and tin. It radically changed the way people lived, and it gave its name to an entire epoch of early human history, the Bronze Age. This was the first time that a relatively hard metal was successfully produced by deliberately combining elements. The alloy thus created could be used to make all sorts of weapons, tools, equipment and, of course, jewellery. This major technological advance in human history was the result of a constant process of trial and error, of accumulating and sharing experience and knowledge, and of developing and refining sequenced manufacturing processes. This, in turn, led to specialisation. Some people focused their labour on mining the raw materials, while others specialised in the various processes that eventually resulted in the final product. This also led to the development of extensive trading networks and increasingly complex human societies that called for structured coexistence. Social hierarchies evolved as a result, leading to the rise of an upper class. Members of that elite needed ways to legitimise their hold on power and to advertise their authority. Bronze objects such as swords, and in particular jewellery, became important symbols of social status. They were a means to demonstrate clearly who had control of rare and precious resources. It's worth remembering that bronze jewellery, like the specimens you see here in the museum, once looked quite different. After it is first cast, bronze has a warm, almost gold-like hue. It's only over the course of time, when constantly exposed to the air and all weather conditions, that its surface takes on the greenish-black patina we usually associate with this metal.